You got another exhibition coming up, right? Yes, this is the, the exhibition that, um, this is the exhibition that's been pushed back. You know, it's been pushed back numerous times, you know, because it could be cut, it could be cut, it could be because of what's going over, what's going on, you know, as far as with, um, the people over in Dubai, I, at first it's supposed to have been in February. They, they talked about March, then they talked about April. So the dates just keep getting pushed back, you know, over and over again. So um, I guess now they're saying we're going in um, May, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not because of me. It's because of the guys that's doing the show. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's why the dates keep getting pushed back. Because it was supposed to be, I think, uh, a few days before uh, my last birthday. It's what it's told. It was supposed to be in February, then uh, March, then April, now May. So it's because of the promoters. I guess in Dubai. Actually, the, actually, the guy is he's not from Dubai. He's from Africa. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, it's not really on me. It's on them. But this is this is the one that is uh, gonna be on the helipad, right? Yes, the one that's on the helipad. So if you just do your homework and see this the same exhibition they've been talking about for, let me see for the last I probably I want to say five or six months. <laughs> I don't really know the exact date, but mm -hmm. to keep getting pushed back. Is that gonna be crazy fighting on top of a helipad and on on this building? I, like <laughs> I've been there plenty of times, you know. Um, I actually had a chance to go to uh, the first time I went to Dubai was um, could have been almost fifteen years ago. I had a chance to go with you know uh, Macy recipes. I had a chance to go with the mother of my children, the mother of three of my children, Josie Harris. We went there for her birthday. I took her there for her birthday. So that was before Dubai was crazy like it is now, mm -hmm. but it was it was a good experience. Just and actually, we stayed at the the Burj Al Arab, the seven star hotel. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to be limited audience because it's going to be on the helipad. I really don't know, you know, I, you know, um, one um, Ken, a guy Ken, Ken, uh, he's connected with. Brent from One Entertainment. Mm -hmm. You know, I met Ken through Brent. Brent is a guy from One Entertainment. He has a, his company's One Entertainment. I worked with them on some international stuff before. <laughs> and just, just um, you know, as far as working with One Entertainment before and working with Ken before, as far as doing, uh, making appearances overseas, everything has been, you know, good thus i mean has been has been good in the past mm -hmm. whereas i've never done a fight with him so i think this is a little different and this is this is a little difficult for them so i don't really know if the fight is going to happen but only thing i could do is just keep my fingers crossed mm -hmm. that it will happen mm -hmm. is that is, is that difficult for you like trying to get your training schedule down i mean i guess you train all the time though so it really doesn't matter well, no 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 because you can't you can't when I mean, you know when you're getting ready for an exhibition you don't have to prepare like you're preparing for an actual big fight mm -hmm. you don't have to do that i mean you know it, it's it's light work you know gym work like little pad work every once in a while you spar you know it's not like when you're getting ready for a major fight, a fight of a, you know, a, when it's crazy, when you know, for a newspaper you about. Mm -hmm. So it's totally different because you know, when you when you're doing it like that, it's for all the marbles. Well, obviously, you you, you had the press conference uh, the other day. I think it was Thursday yes. or something like that. And yes. um, you, you know, of course. Uh, of course, anytime you do something, there's there, there's there's going to be people talking. But uh, yes. the press conference was on the same day as Gervonta's press conference for the yes. Roley fight. Well, that really, that really wasn't my idea. I didn't want the press conference. I, I didn't really know. I didn't want the press conference to be on the same day. Mm -hmm. But Anderson Silva had to fly out because he I was in Miami mm -hmm. and he was in Miami, mm -hmm. so. Ken and Brent said, you know, the only day that they can do the press conference is Thursday. Mm -hmm. And then, so they said, um, we'll pay you a million dollars 
would pay you a million dollars cash. We just want to make sure, you know, you can do it Thursday. I told them I wasn't going to do it Thursday, but they paid me a million dollars. They paid me a million dollars to do it Thursday. So when they paid me a million and said, um, Anderson Silver can't do it because he's flying out um, either Thursday night or Friday morning. So we done it on Thursday. That's what we did. So this this ain't this have anything to do with you trying to hate on Javante and his fight? I mean, which doesn't even make sense because that's your I card think, too. I, think, I, just think, I just think that you know when you're gonna always have people gonna always say you don't have something to say, and even I mean people are gonna always say it's always called divide and conquer, and that's been going on forever. You know, divide and conquer. Um, you know, I've always wanted the best for any any fighter that's under the PBC banner as well as the Mayweather Promotions banner. So, you know, I've always wanted the best for all fighters. You know what I'm saying? And especially, you have never seen me push hard, harder for a fighter like I push for my fighters when they go out there and and is involved in big events. I mean, far as I want, I want, now I don't want to say events, but big fights. I always push, uh, you know, I'm always pushing hard for my fighters to be the best, and I always want my fighters to, to do record-breaking things. Because if, if I didn't care, then I would always go out there and badmouth my fighters. Just like with you, for instance. Mm -hmm. Whereas... You will get a lot, you know, like far as when you're going to see in the media, you're going you're gonna to always hear in the media, oh, Floyd is, is this and Floyd is that and Floyd is this. And they always want to paint, paint a certain picture. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because I won't give nobody else an interview. I will only do interviews with certain individuals mm -hmm. that, was all, that always treated me fair. Now, if I don't feel like someone has treated me fair or didn't give me the benefit of the doubt, you know, and you know, throughout my career, then why should I give you an interview for you can post on your your YouTube and you make YouTube to feed your family. So but but then you write so many bad stories negative stories about me. You write negative stories about me, but then you want me to do interviews with you. Absolutely not. That's so true. far as me being jealous of anyone, and I'm not just talking about my fighters i'm not i mean god has truly blessed me and, and and put me in a position to be able to give back to my fighters and that's the great thing that i'm able to do is give back so if if giving back is 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 jealousy then that's what it is because i'm always here to give back you always see me on the front pushing pushing for my fighters wanting the best for them but, you know, fighters go, fighters and individuals are going to feel like they want to feel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, my, and, and my job is to always be the bigger person and continue to stay positive and, and push for my fighters to be great and push for my fighters to be good. Well, I know that as long as I've known you, that's, that's always been the case. And... Um... You know, I see the headlines. I see the uh, the the divide and conquer. You know, but, but that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. I, I understand that comes with the territory. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you, you really just look. I mean, like a lot of times they're like Floyd jealous of this guy and Floyd jealous of that guy. It don't, it don't even have to be in boxing. Floyd is jealous of this person. He jealous of that person. But uh, but I, I say to myself, like. Jealous of, I mean, you, when you say I'm jealous of somebody, they have to be a reason. You know, it has to be a reason for me to be jealous. Like, what is the reason? I mean, we, when we look just, when we just look at the, the, the big picture, you know, a jealous person is not going to go on the front line and, and push and push and push for these fighters to be great a person that don't really care a promoter who really don't care is going to put his fighters put his fighter in a position to lose if i put okay right now 
I'm not looking to put like I'm I'm looking to match the best with the best. Mm-hmm. You know, we I never got it as oh let's hand pick these guys. No, I want to match the best with the best. Mm-hmm. And when you when you matching the best with the best, may the best man win if they both are under my banner. May the best man win. And of course, it's all you know. And then if if we got a guy that's constantly winning and constantly winning. And, and building his fan base, then of course, if, if he can kindly build his fan base, the ultimate goal is to find the next Floyd and Mayweather. Mm-hmm. Because I I know I know the numbers that I did. So if I did the numbers that I did, even if we can find the next Floyd Mayweather just to do a little bit of that, that's going to be remarkable. I'm a you know I'm proud of that in itself. You know, if you, when you go just look, I was able to accomplish so so many different things in the sport of boxing for us. You know, like you see me, I take my hat off to guys like Sugar Ray Leonard. I take my, you know, I take my hat off to guys. It, it's so many legendary champions like like Pernell Whitaker. So many guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. Yeah. You know, I take my hat off to them. But when I say that I'm the best. I, I mean that from the bottom of my heart because I, cause I feel like just like any other fighter, I gave the sport blood, sweat, and tears for so many years. You know, when you get that, and sometimes they throw, you know, they go, they throw fighters out there like, oh, well, this guy went 80 and no. Well, Chavez went 89 and no. Chavez went 89 and no. But within 50 fights, Chavez had 100 and some fights. And within his 100 and some fights, I beat more champions than Chavez beat, and in, in, in his I'm saying in his he had a, in his illustrious career. Mm-hmm. I beat more fighters in 50 fights. I, I beat not, not just fighters. I beat more champions than he beat in a hundred and some fights. And they talk about Sugar Ray Robinson once again. I beat more champions than Sugar Ray Robinson beat in his illustrious career. And the list goes on and on. And if you look nowadays, everybody. In the top ten, everybody got a belt now. Mm-hmm. It, you know, I've never won an intern belt. You know, um, I feel like it's too many. It's too many belts in the sport of boxing. Mm. So, this the sport, the sport of boxing is really watered down now. Mm-hmm. Everybody is champion, and I don't knock. And once again, I'm not knocking any fighter, but. I'm, t- I'm, only, I'm only talking about me. I've never won a vacant belt. Every time I won a belt, I want to beat the champion for the belt. Mm-hmm. So nothing was handed to me. And when you look, when you look, like when, when, if I had a Floyd Mayweather, just me, I, I've never had a Floyd Mayweather to have my back. Mm-hmm. I've never had a Floyd Mayweather to have my back and stand up and root for me like that and, and push me and say, yo, you can be great, or do this and do that, or I never had a, you know, I'm saying I never had a Floyd Mayweather, a, a champion, a champion at at the pinnacle of the sport, put me under his wing, and just teach me so many things, not just about the sport of boxing, just about life, and how to move, and, and, and how to handle the media, and different things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, because sometimes we can, you know, we we get, we we get a, a, a watch. We may get, a, you know, we get watches. We get diamond chains. We get nice cars. We get followers on social media. But one day, we we get older, and then we look back. We we look back and say, well, you know what? Who was good to me? Out of everybody, who was really genuinely good to me? And I know I've always been good to people. So, and, and, you know, so I'm never here to bash no fighters under my banner. I would never do that. Mm-hmm. And, and no matter, so if you think, about, just, 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 I want you to just think about this, okay? Mm-hmm. Look how many, because everybody worry about subscribers, you know, you know, sub, you know, subscribers on, 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 on YouTube. Look how many subscribers I get. Mm-hmm. So, it's, it's no different from my 
my merchandise. When I'm fighting, because I didn't understand it at first when I was young, but as you get older, with age and experience comes wisdom. You, I see guys out there selling shirts on the corner. And a lot of times I say, you selling the appar- my apparel that's taking money out of my children's mouth and out of my family mouth when they bootlegging shirts, you know, on the corner. Mm-hmm. You know, if they, I, and I would tell the guy, if you want a job, just talk to me and we can put you inside the arena and you can sell the shirts and we can give you, we can give you a check for doing it. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, but you, you, you printing fake bootleg shirts and selling shirts and it's a lot and sometimes guys make twenty and thirty thousand dollars from shirts Mm -hmm. even though it's not a lot but thirty thousand going to uh, you know one of my nephews you know uh you know money that we was putting to the side for college Mm -hmm. i feel like i mean that's that's a good start right but once again, you have people saying, oh, you even made all this money. What's $30,000 to you? But once again, it's, 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 it, it, you can, people can easily speak on something when it's not theirs. You, you, I feel like people should only speak when they're in your position. Oh, what's this to you? What's that to you? You throw this money, you throw that money. But once again, it's my money. I'm able to do what I want to do with my money. Mm-hmm. Far as... Um, you know the, the the fighters, my fighters fighting. Mm-hmm. You know, coming up in in, in in Barclays, I will always stand firm and strong in what I believe in. Uh, I w- you know I want my fighters to go out there, entertain the people, and get the people one hell of a show. And far as Roly, Roly. As entertain the people, far as helping, you know, sell this fight. Mm-hmm. Him and Tank both, and, and, and Tank, you know, he stepped up over the, far as you know, um, getting more experience with the media, which I'm proud of him, you know, you know, in that aspect. But I want both of them to go out there and give the people what they want to see, entertainment, because that's what really what what it's about, mm-hmm. entertaining the people. This is not about. Um, uh, Floyd Mayweather and, 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 and Roly. This is not about Floyd Mayweather and Tank. This is this is about Tank and Roly. They're fighting. I, this has nothing to do with me. I'm doing so, what I'm doing in Dubai. It's, it's not going on my boxing record. This has nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. So I can I can knock my opponent out, or my opponent can knock me out. We can knock each other down. And guess what? It's not going on his record or it's not going on my record. What Roly and Tate is doing, if, if someone, when, when someone takes an L, that stay with you throughout your whole career. Mm-hmm. You know, the ultimate goal is not to be worried about Floyd Mayweather. Worry about training camp. Worry about, you know, building generational up. Worry about doing pay-per-view numbers. So, you know, once again, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm never trying to step on anyone, anyone's toes. The guy from Brazil, what I told you, you know, the MMA, the MMA fighter. Anderson Silva, yep. And, Anderson Silva had to fly out of Miami late Thursday night or early Friday morning. If I'm not mistaken, he was headed to Brazil. So we couldn't do the press conference on any other day. I asked him, can we do it any other day? He said, absolutely not. People said, I said, um, I said, we can do it Friday. He said, no. He said, but what we can do is we can do it Thursday, and we're paying you $1 million. We're paying you $1 million to do it. Mm-hmm. I said, I said, no problem. And it wasn't for, it, you know, it, it wasn't, um, of course, I'm going to take the money because, uh, of course, I can feed my family with that. Right. <laughs> but also, I'm not fin to I'm not finna tell him that uh move your schedule for me. Mm-hmm. Change your flight change your flight because I said so. It's about compromising and I was able to 
and, and, and I was able to compromise with Anderson Silva as, as well as Ken and as well as uh, Brent from One Entertainment. And that's what exactly happened. Does, like, do things like this make it more difficult to be a promoter when, you know, when, when there's headlines being put out there that, that are attempting to divide and conquer and, you know, you've got fighters seeing that and, 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 and you know, that's going to affect what they're but, thinking. You know, what, 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 I mean, when some, I mean, when someone, t you know, I don't, because remember, I don't keep social media on, on my phone. So some, it, it, from time to time, people may send me certain things. They may send me certain things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I can't, you know, when, when like I said before, I, I'm, I'm blessed way beyond belief. And not just... I'm blessed every day, and not just because of the materialistic things that I have. I'm blessed to wake up every day. I'm blessed, you know, that when my career was over, my, when my career, when I was able to, I retired on my own terms, I have, I have all my faculties. That's what's important. Mm -hmm. You know, no one can ever bait me into saying, oh, well, he said this, and you say this, he said this. No. He, if, if fighters feel a certain way, they're entitled to feel how they want to feel. Mm -hmm. If a fighter, if a fighter feels that uh, Floyd Mayweather is jealous, then he can say that. If that's how you feel, let him say that. Mm -hmm. You know, but actions speak louder than words. True. You know, I'm able to. You know, actions speak louder than words, and my actions always show that I'm out there pushing, giving advice, and, and, and making sure. That I'm telling, I'm giving my fighters the best advice, and I'm always positive with my fighters. That's what it's about, you know. And, and a lot of times they try to bait. Oh, you should say this. You should say that, man. I'm I'm 45 years old. In five years, I'll be 50 years old. So what I look like, talking down on one of my fighters. When I we 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 we, we seem to forget, I'm the same one that got on the podium, not too long ago, and with and with the war. For my fighter, Facts. I'm the same one. I'm the same one that got on the podium and said, "Why, why isn't my fighter Javante King Davis on the pound for pound list?" Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I argue and fight when when my fighter didn't make weight. In the media, bash my fighter. I'm the only one that went out there on the front line and went to war for my fighter. True. So these are the, these are the things that we seem to forget. You know. When, when my fighter, when nobody knew who my fighter was, I took my fighter, and my fighter, my fighter had, he didn't even have a, a ton of fights, and I took him and put him on a pay-per-view card and make sure that his fight was was showed to millions around the around the world. Mm -hmm. That's the guy that I am, yeah. and and that's that's the guy that I will always be, and I'm always like I like I said. If a lot of times certain individuals, I'm saying certain people, people had to sometimes take a step back and say, okay, well, let me look at the people around me. Did, did he help me make millions or did, was it the guy right here that put me on pay-per-view? It was it him that put me on pay-per-view? You know, I don't know what goes on in none of, in, in none of these fighter camps. I don't know what go on at all, you know, but I, I always give my advice on what I think. They can either take it or leave it. It's up to them. Javante well, Davis, when you when you first got him, he was he was what, 11, 11 and 0 or something like that. And I'm, I'm not really sure what his boxing record was, but it wasn't. But but it didn't take you long to to get him his first world title. I told him, you will be world champion mm -hmm. in a certain amount of time. And I did exactly what I said I was going to do. There's been so many guys that I put in position uh, to fight for world titles. There's been so many guys that I got on TV that shouldn't be on TV. There's so many fighters. And I'm not saying that he's, he's won, but it's been a lot of guys that's lost. And I put them on. Put them back on mm -hmm. and put them back on and constantly keep putting. And sometimes, if I can't put you on TV, I put you in a position that you're able to make enough money 
to feed your family or put you in a good position so that you are happy and that you are eating good. Mm-hmm. But this is what happens within within anything. Once you tell the one no, no one likes to hear the word no. So as long as I'm saying if somebody wants something, I'm giving you an example. It, it could be male or female, or it could be a family member. As long as you tell them yes, 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 and giving them everything they want, um, everything is okay. But as soon as you say no, then that's when all hell breaks loose. You're the worst person in the world. Or if it's something that if everybody else is saying yes about something that you disapprove of, you're like, no, nah, I don't really know. I don't think so. But y'all may think so. There's, oh man, you hating. Just like these, these, a, a lot of these, these, these new so-called boxing critics. So when we go back, people need to do their homework. When we go back, you the on, you're the only one that defended me, you know, and had my back and was like, yo, listen, who would to fight anybody? And at that particular time, and you know, I, I would fight anybody. Mm-hmm. When all these boxing critics was like, oh, fool, he wouldn't do this, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do that, he wouldn't do this, he wouldn't do that. But then remember this, these, all these new so-called boxing critics found a way to make a ton of money on, you know, people get on this YouTube, this high horse on YouTube to make a, you know, get a bunch of views from interviews. Mm. So if you was riding with me from the beginning, I'm going to ride with you from the beginning and I'm going to ride with you all the way through mm. that's called loyalty that's called loyalty yeah so the reason why i give you interviews because i'm loyal it's, it's, i'm not disloyal so you gave if you, you gave me a you gave me a fair shake and you've always been on an even playing field mm. so those you gave me a fake sh- you gave me a fair shake and was on an even playing field then i don't mind working with you so a lot of these guys now Get a get a camera and try to steal your remedy and come up in a boxing gym and try to interview everybody and say, oh yeah, get on my boxing channel, get on my boxing channel, get on my boxing channel, and and I'm quick to say, you know, you know, I have my time. <laughs> um, you can you can interview, you can interview all these other fighters that's in the gym. I don't want to do an interview. Mm-hmm. And when they get a chance, when you know, as soon as they get a chance, they get the interview for one of the fighters, something. They go and say, oh, yeah, fuck for it. He a hater. Yeah, I'm, I'm a hater because I won't give you an interview. <laughs> because, I won't, because I won't let you make money off me. I'm a hater. Mm. So, once again, if I, if, you, you know, look at all my fighters that's been, look how many fighters that's been with me, that stick with me, I'm saying, throughout, the, throughout everything. Because it's crazy when the fighter says, oh, yeah. I'm with, I'm with Al Heyman. I ain't with Floyd Mayweather. Okay. Believe what you want to believe. <laughs> Same umbrella. Believe what you want to believe. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I, I don't have to have my name on a turnbuckle. I don't have to have my name on a turnbuckle mm-hmm. to work side by side with Al. It can have Mayweather Promotions. It can have PBC as long as I know what it is for real. And I'm proud of all the fighters under PBC. I'm on, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm proud of all the fighters under Mayweather Promotions. It doesn't matter. I, all of them under Mayweather Promotions. <laughs> they say, oh, no, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. The issue is, and everything goes through me anyway. Mm-hmm. E- e- everything goes through me anyway. So if, if there's something that I disapprove of, we communicate as a team. You know, me, Al, and there's a few others, we communicate as a team mm-hmm. because you know, there's no, there's no I, there's no I in team. So it's not all about me, but everything comes through me and we, we talk about it and we always want to know what's the best thing for the fighters. And we always want the fighters to get the lion's share. And we always, you know, because the talent should always get the lion's share. And those are the things that we talk about. You never, you never hear, uh, you know, you always hear, oh, he this, he's that, he's this, he's that. I was able to leave boxing on my own terms. Mm -hmm. And now the boxing critics are upset that I'm able to steal, milk, and finesse the sport of boxing doing exhibitions 
16 minutes, and I'm able to get eight and nine figures. Ooh. Damn. From the fruit from the fruits of my labor. Mm -hmm. Once again, I'm not hurting for money. I'm I'm far from hurting for money. But once again, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, mm. Jeff Bezos, mm. the Waltons. Mm -hmm. These are these are very, very powerful people, great people. But we gotta know what world we live in. These people are very powerful, and they're in their late, I'm going to say close to 60, but late 50s, mm -hmm. 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, making billions of dollars, and they're not retired, but they're white. <laughs> when a black man like myself that come from the struggle Learn, my dad taught me, my dad taught me an art on how to defend myself. But the main thing he taught me was to hit and not get hit. So I was able to retire on my own terms with all my accolades, with my, with my sharp mind. I made smart investments, smart investments. But then I said, you know what? I told you, I retired from the sport of boxing. But just like the rest of those other people that I talked about, about the Bill Gates, the Waters, Warren Buffett, and all of those people, I didn't retire from getting money just like they didn't retire from getting money. <laughs> right. <laughs> so they made billions and billions. I'm talking about. I'm talking about years ago. You know, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett owns. You know, he got Coca Cola. He got American Express. And he's still, he's in his 90s. Mm. And, he still, and he's still working, <laughs> making billions every day. <laughs> wow. So, it, so once again, when we do it, you, you, hear, you all we, th this is the jealousy and the hate that you hear. When, when someone like myself do it, oh, Floyd, oh, man, he hurt me, bro. He hurt me, bro. So, so now y'all mad because y'all fighters have to fight. So, so the fight critics, not the fighters, but the fight critics, y'all mad because... I'm working smarter and not harder because I'm able to be in my 40s and still milk the game the way I want to milk the game. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, why, why, why don't he fight this dude? Why don't he fight that dude? Guess what? Because I, when, when God told me it was time to hang it up, I hung it up. Yeah. And, and it's just like this. If I, if, if I don't want to give somebody an interview, guess what? They got to be like, okay, that's his prerogative. to do what he want to do. You know, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make shit shape with or without Floyd. I'm proud of him though. Whatever he want to do, that's his business. Mm -hmm. How can we talk about building a sport of boxing? How, how can we talk about building a sport of boxing if all, if the critic won't talk about the, the, the main piece to the puzzle of boxing? If, 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 if I'm not good for the sport, then why, why, why are you always talking about me? <laughs> always. I wouldn't even if, if 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 it wasn't a big if it wasn't really wasn't a big concern, then why are you talking about me anyway? Mm -hmm. I, and, and my thing is this: I'm not even fighting, so I can't be stepping on anyone, any anybody's toes, because I'm not fighting in America. I'm fighting over in, in, in UAE. Mm -hmm. I'm fighting somewhere, in, 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 somewhere way far away, and I, I'm not even fighting on pay per view, I, I, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I believe it's going to be streamed, mm -hmm. so I'm not really sure if it's streamed or, or pay per view. Right. I'm, you know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of hearing a little bit. Like I told you before, I don't really know what's going on. They, they pay, I show up and play. <laughs> right. So, so that's just like the other day. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting, you know, I'm sitting in my eight figure mansion on the water. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, looking at the ocean. They called me and said, yo, we'll pay you a million dollars um, if you come. First, they said, we need you here Thursday. I said, no, I can't make it. I'm not, I said, I'm not coming. They said, well, you know, they said, well, you know, the, M the MMA guy said, well, he got to fly out X, Y, Z. They told me whatever they told me, and we're paying you a million. Mm -hmm. I said, I said, okay, <laughs> let's do it. 
Yeah, yeah. That's easy, Bunny. Like you said, working smarter. I, I'm working smarter, not harder. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to, you know, right now, I'm, I'm on the phone with you right now. And today, just alone, you know, today I made a, a, a 800000 <laughs> on a wake-up. Damn. M my thing is this. I'm not here to knock any fighter. I'm proud of all fighters. I'm proud of, uh, of Roley. I'm proud of every fighter under PBC. I'm proud of every fighter under Mayweather Promotions. Very proud of Tank. And I always will, will be proud of Tank. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of times they say, oh, they said, oh, Tank, he wrote this, he said this, he said that. I'm not mad at him. Once he, when he get older, he'll say, you know what? I was, that, was all the, that was all the part of you being young. Mm -hmm. Just like me, when, when I was young, I said certain things. I said certain things that... I may have shouldn't sh that I shouldn't have said, but it's all a part. It's all a part of growth. Mm -hmm. Those things happen. You know, when I when I sit back and look, just look, I just look at my my whole life, and I say, you know what? I'm, I'm blessed way beyond belief to be able to have, you know, 40, 40 houses. You know, own nine skyscrapers. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. got jets. Got a, got a hundred cars, you know, st making millions and millions of dollars every month. <laughs> Smart investments. My children are healthy. My grandson is healthy. You know, my mother is healthy. My dad is healthy. And God woke me up to see another day. I couldn't, I couldn't ask for much more. Right. What's there to be jealous of, right? No, it's, it's <laughs> not that. It's not that. I'm just saying I'm proud. I'm proud of my fighters. Mm-hmm. And, 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 you know, uh, I, if I was him, I would, if I was him, I would probably feel the same way, but I wouldn't trip. You know me, I don't trip on, I never tripped on like when I was, when I see, when I see like fighters, even if we fought on the same day of our press conferences, we're on the same day. I never thought about that because all I ever did was stay in my own lane. I didn't care because I seen the bigger picture, mm -hmm. you know, no matter what, you know, no matter what. Um, you know, I'm too blessed. When you when you just blessed, I'm I'm too blessed to be saying some negative about you know other fighters. You know, it's, it, you know, I just look. Remember, I told myself, I told myself this, that I wasn't going to be involved with a bunch of uh, a bunch of bullshit that didn't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying a bunch of bullshit. A bunch of people saying, oh, he said this and she said that and, and this is what they said and they wrote this. Well, okay, if they said that, then they're entitled to say, say what they want to say. Right. But, like, but you know, and, and I, I'm, I'm a man. I'm always going to uphold my end of the bargain. I told you that we're going to do part two of this interview. So, and I told you I'll get back with you. So, I got to hold my, up, my end of the bargain and do part two. That's exactly what you did.